loves welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel life as danny i'm super excited to have you here today hopefully you decide to stick around and subscribe so 23 pans in 2023 let's just get started my goal is to finish everything to finish everything after i hit the pan i still have to finish you know that's just my goal for every single product in my new project just want to make that clear and yeah let's just get right into it i'm going to start off with these two products right here so i have this fresh vanilla body mist from pink i just have way too many so i want to finish one also i i'm going to be doing a rolling style project which when i thought about it i was like if i do it rolling then i might finish more than 23 products in the year which is great i mean the more the merrier so i'm just gonna keep this rolling um so essentially i'm not folk like i'm gonna be focusing on more than 23 products but you know it is what it is so i yeah i put this into this project and right now it looks like wait it looks like we are like right here so excited to work towards finishing her up next i have this sol de janeiro brazilian bum bum cream this is you know i feel like i've had it for a, over a year and i mean there's a little bit of usage on her but not anything crazy this is a huge tub i mean it's the biggest one that they sell um i love it so much so yeah i can't wait to work towards finishing her now the rest is all makeup so let's just dig in so i guess i can start with we'll just you know go with the flow but i'm going to show you some products that were already in projects like my project pan and then i did 12 pans of christmas so some of those rolled into this new project so i have this urban decay stay naked hydromaniac tinted hydrator i'm in the shade 50 medium um in november i think i made that black mark right there and i don't think we're any lower um but yeah excited to finish her up i really enjoy that foundation i also had this in my previous project pan i was able to make that mark in november it feels very very light i feel like i'm close to the end here um but yeah really love this foundation can't wait to finish it i'm in the shade medium adw chef's kiss beautiful foundation um something else that was recently in my 12 pens of christmas project is this setting mist it's from the beauty crop um it's just their cocoa gold mist the lettering is all rubbed off so um yeah when i rolled it into my 12 pens of christmas project i was right there at that little tiny line and now i'm all the way down here so i'm pretty sure this is going to be an easy finish um yeah um next in here i had this in my previous project which is the 12 pans of christmas this is the laneige lip sweeping mask i believe it's the berry flavor and my goal is to hit pan in that project and i did that but now my goal is to finish so super excited i really really enjoy this lip sweeping mask and i have quite the collection of these so Finishing this will really help me out. Um, all right, something new is this e.l.f. I don't know, what is it, like a foundation palette? I want to just finish one shade in this palette. Um, I think we're going to, I'm going to work towards this one. And I also have another um, cream bronzer, which I'll show you next. But yeah, I just want to finish one. Um, if I can finish three or even two, I'll be really happy. So with this one and then the next cream bronzer that i'm going to show you what i want to do is like if i finish one then i'm going to try to work towards finishing the other and that can count as like two individual products so um yeah and then if i finish two then i will try to work towards three we'll see so yeah for na for now my goal is just to finish this one right here so kind of the correct way it's this one just gonna try to completely wipe her out the next cream bronzer that i was talking about is this kkw beauty like contour stick and i'm in the shade light medium 
So the one that I want to completely finish up is the darkest shade of the two. And that's how much we have left. I'm not going to underestimate these products. I have a couple of minis in here. Just letting you guys know, I'm not underestimating anything anymore. I feel like it looks really small, but I feel like it can also take a really long time. So with this, if I finish her up, then I will then just like kind of roll it out and do this one, which this is how this side looks. It has a lot more product than the other one, but um, yeah, I can just, you know, turn it over and try to finish the other one. But for now, it's just the darker side of the contour stick that I want to finish. Let's move on to Kosas because I have four products of Kosas that I want to finish. And the reason being is that these go off really quickly. So I want to finish up my Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. It has um, SPF 25. This foundation is amazing. On Christmas Eve, I wore it and my boyfriend's cousin gave me a compliment. She said my skin looked like um she said it looked like butter so it looked really smooth and i really agree so this foundation is beautiful um it expires in july of 2023 so it only makes sense to put it in this project and i really need to work hard towards finishing it um i'm also putting in my kosas concealer i'm in the shade 04n in this one i was in the shade light medium neutral 200 by the way um, so yeah, this has a shelf life of six months, so I really need to um, get the ball rolling with this because I've already had it, I want to say, for like two, maybe three months. Um, so yeah, need to really get her used up. And then um, I have my soft bronze bronzer. It's in the shade light. This one uh, expires, has a shelf life of 18 months. And these are pretty new to my collection, so, I mean, I kind of still have some time, but I just want to, you know, finish them up because they do go bad fast. So, this is a bronzer. I believe I only use it, like, maybe four times, but I really like it and just want to finish it up. And then I have this Cloud Set Face Powder. This one has a shelf life of 24 months. So I have more time with this and I actually want to look into this as to why this one, you know, expires faster than this one. I just, maybe it just has different ingredients, obviously, but I don't know. Um, this one I have a lot more time um, with it, but I'm still just going to, you know, I don't know, I guess just use it how I normally would. I don't know. I'm not going to like take my time with it. I'm just going to use it like normal, you know? And this is kind of re replacing my Charlotte Tilbury um, flawless finish powder that I finished in my last project. So I wanted to specifically have a face um, powder to replace. And that one's perfect because like I said, it kind of like expires quickly. Oh, and then in replacement of my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, the one that I hit pan on in my last project pan, I'm replacing it with this Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Primer. It's kind of like the same exact concept. So yeah, again, not underestimating any small products anymore. I'm sure this will take me some time, but I'm excited because I've only used it a handful of times and it's really good. I like it. Um, next we can move on to this highlighter. It's the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade 100 Molten Gold. Guys, this has been in my project pan since, you know, August, since I started a project pan. And, like, she is giving me a tough time. I mean, I have, like, a huge dip, but no pan. So, I love that highlighter and I'm excited to work towards finishing it up. Um... This one's also in my project pan and no pan yet. So this is the Tower 28 Magic Hour um, in the shade Magic Hour. So she kind of has like a dip going, but I'm excited to finish her up. I love, love, love this formula and I would be super excited to, you know, get more once this one's gone. This was also in my project pan. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. It's a matte bronzer and this is in 310. Um, with this one, there's like no progress at all. I mean, I haven't been using it like very consistently. I prefer things, other things, you know, I don't really prefer this one. So 
um yeah i mean i feel like this is gonna be kind of hard to finish up but we'll see this is something that i've had in my recent little project the 12 pans of christmas project my goal is just to finish the blush and this is the natasha denona love cheek duo by the way next i have these two little uh sunscreens from drunk elephant and my goal is to individually finish both of them the only difference is this one has like a tint and like some shimmer in it and this one's just plain white so i mean they pack you know they're packed you know they have a lot of product in there is what i'm trying to say so hopefully i can you know meet my goal of finishing both of them so next i would really really love to finish a lip product so the reason why i pulled this is because i think it'll be more easier um so this is the maybelline lifter gloss with hyaluronic acid and this is in 001 pearl um yeah just a simple um clear gold clear gloss with shimmer um my next product my next product is this Anastasia Brow Freeze. I don't think that this is going to be hard to finish anyways because I use it every day. Every time I do my makeup, I use this um, brow freeze. So I feel like this will kind of be easy to finish, but again, I don't know. And my next product, the 22nd product is this ColourPop um like cream blush and it's called drop of a hat i probably just bought this on a whim because i didn't own like any color pop like blushes or bronzers like i recently just bought my first color pop bronzer um so i literally just bought this on a whim just like picked any color so with that i haven't been using this at all like at all in my collection so um that's not cool so i want to put this in this project to finish it and my 23rd product it is this bobby brown vitamin enriched face base so um this can act as a moisturizer or a primer so it's like a two-in-one and i've had this for a while so i'm like i need to finish her like for real like, I just can't keep buying stuff and not, like, finishing them or using them as much as I should be. Because, yeah, I just stay buying makeup and I need to finish them too. Like, I just can't keep buying, buying, buying and not finishing, finishing, finishing. You know what I mean? I just feel like this project is going to be hard. It's going to be a pain in the butt. But I also feel like it's going to be very fun and um, motivating, you know, to wear makeup more. Because like I said, I have a lot of makeup and I need to use up my products more. It's not okay to just keep buying and keep hoarding makeup and, you know, not using them. So, I really like the idea of this project and I hope, like, I don't think it's going to be a breeze, but it, it, it really just doesn't matter. I'm going to work towards it anyways. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. If you like project painting content, makeup content, or even like mommy lifestyle vlogs, I would really love if you'd subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy that type of content, that's what I film over here on this channel. And yeah, I would just love for you to stick around, join me on this journey called life. And yeah, I will see you beauties in my next video.